All right, Microsoft did something really freaking cool today. They introduced the world's first pizza-scented controllers. Yeah, pizza-scented fucking controllers. Now, these are going to be part of a Xbox Game Pass sweepstakes giveaway. I already fucking entered. I was like, holy crap, I need these. Pizza-scented controllers. Do you know what first-grade TMNT-loving 8-bit Eric would have did to get these? I don't know. I was a kid. You fucking pervert. Stop thinking bad things about children. That's the fucking reason why Sound of Freedom is out. Now, nah, anyways, uh, pizza scented controllers. So they're doing this giveaway. It is available to be entered. Uh, uh, supposedly they have like a little thing in the back. You can see it's like that pizza crust on the top. This pizza crust is like a diffuser, a scent diffuser behind it. I'm guessing there's a fan or something that heats up the controller and it starts to smell like pizza. And I'm really curious to see just how pizza accurate this could be. Uh, but never mind that. You could really take a look at the design and everything on these controllers. There's going to be four of them, of course, because the four, t four turtles, as I'm trying not to hiccup in the middle of talking to you guys, there's going to be four of them. There's going to be, I mean, look at the artwork. It's like graffiti, ooze with like graffiti and uh, taking a, a look, a closer look at them. I have the image pulled up separately, but let's go ahead. Take a look at that. I mean, you got the turtle on the bottom right of each one. You have their name on the left. You got the ooze look and the pizza on the back. And it's going to smell scented. Like, this is why I like when Microsoft does these giveaways because they go above and beyond and make these custom creative types of looks. I want them all. But sadly enough, these aren't going to be for sale at all. <laughs> you can only get these through this thing uh but they are gonna have something at uh xbox i believe in new york yeah they're gonna have uh something in new york where you can go and actually check these out like an event and uh i think that would be cool go and check them out uh i think from august 2nd on august 2nd from 4 to 7 at the microsoft experience center on 5th avenue they're gonna have a um event with pizza and the controllers to check out in person and uh, i think you can play uh, i think this is for in collaboration with the um the upcoming shredder's revenge dlc that's coming out which is a fantastic game if you haven't played shredder's revenge that's on game pass right now at the moment too but uh i went and entered on their twitter account um if you go to their twitter you should see right here here's the uh the way to enter it's simple. Follow Game Pass. Retweet the post with the hashtag TMNT movie sweepstakes for a chance to win these TMNT inspired controllers. Now, this is for the movie Mutant Mayhem, which we've talked about. But I think, you know, of course, we'll be playing Shredder's Revenge at <laughs> with these controllers if we win these bad boys. But I think they're doing the Shredder's Revenge DLC thing at um, the Microsoft Gaming Experience or at least promoting it. It's like TMNT all over again. I got my, I'm actually in my 30s shirt as well. Fantastic shirt. It's the last year I can wear it. <laughs> and then I got to see if they have a, I'm actually in my 40s shirt that I could use with it. Uh, exciting times. I'm not too optimistic about the upcoming Turtles movie, especially when you see some of the stuff that we've been talking about as far as like, April being fat and ugly. I have nothing wrong with her being African American. Let's set that right. But her being fat and ugly, uh, I feel it's like a character departure. On top of that, the animation style of the movie just looks kind of... I, I don't know. They're trying to do that Spider-Verse thing, I guess. But I guess it'll grow on me. I am going to go watch it. You bet your ass I'm going to go watch it. Um, but I'm, I'm very skept skeptical about it. Especially with the whole... Uh, splinter hating humans type of thing. I feel that uh, they try to get a little too political with it. Seth Rogen, man, I used to really like Seth Rogen, and he's kind of fallen down, in my opinion. He did all right as DK. He did all right as Donkey Kong in the Super Mario Brothers movie, but I feel he's kind of become weird, <laughs> and uh, who knows what he's going to do with this series. I really hope. And it's funny because I'm a 40-year-old man-child, 39-year-old man-child over here uh, complaining about the Turtles and, and hoping that it's not ruined. 
But it's it's when they do this whole for modern audience that's that's cringe, and that's why I call it out. I I understand completely it's for a new generation of children, but don't put bullshit and change things from the source material so terrible that it, it it doesn't even resemble what the thing was about at its heart there's a reason why this franchise is around 30 fucking years later because it's it's awesome it's timeless its characters were great and when you make characters completely far from what they originally were that's where it kind of stems and that's what they're doing with like marvel and star wars and and other franchises they want nostalgia bait they want people to come in for the nostalgia but then they want to modernize it and it's just fucking tiring but anyways enough of my fucking soapbox if you guys haven't entered this right now do it this is actually something really cool i wanted to kind of depart from the uh the usual you know coming and ranting and stuff like that i think this is really cool i didn't even get to check out the comments let's see what people are saying about it. Still unsure how I feel about the movie look, but I'm going to see it with open mind. I'd also like to see a game in this universe as I feel like it would be a lot of fun. See, so that's fair. You know, I'm in the same boat. These are the coolest controllers I've ever seen. I agree. These are awesome. This is the legitimately coolest controllers that we've ever seen. I genuinely wish that... <laughs> That we would be able to buy a set of these controllers. Because I, I flat out would add. Like that's the thing. I get it. They want stuff for uh, for giveaway. They want it to be like. Oh look. These are custom made. World's first pizza scented controllers. You can bet your butt. If the, whoever wins this resells these. These are going to go for a pretty fucking penny. I know the pizza smell thing is, uh, is pretty much a gimmick. But uh, it's a cool gimmick. <laughs> you know, I really, I'm a little peanut butter and jelly that these aren't going to be readily available because I would, I would definitely buy one flat out. And, and I'm not, and, and even though I am a Turtles fan, I'm not really like the most religious Turtles fan at this moment. I uh, kind of outgrew them, but I, every time something Turtles related comes out to the movies, I usually check it out. This is the first time that I've seen a Turtles thing come out though, that I'm like, oh, great. Uh, let's go and let's go and see what they do. I, I I'm gonna be honest, they weren't for everybody, but I didn't think the Michael Bay movies were that bad. To be honest, I'm kind of let down that they didn't get to have a third one, make it a trilogy. But I didn't think they were that bad, and um, unfortunately, they were met with bad response. So who knows what this one's gonna be met with? Uh, again, it is made for children. Obviously, it's an animated feature. It's gonna be modernized. It's gonna have stuff that. Everything is far from perfect, guys. There's always going to be something that we're going to bitch about because us main children can't move on from the past, right? That's what the haters like to say. But I, um, regardless of what, these controllers are badass. <laughs> so I hope I win one. I hope you guys win one. And uh, I'll see you guys later.